Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a quick little review on these little twee markers that I got from Arteza. Um, I got these along with the um, colored pencils and this is going to be a real quick little review on what they are. Now they are a water-based ink, blendable, compact little pen. They're ideal for watercoloring techniques and journaling. If you look at the picture on the front, I mean, could you imagine that in your bullet journal or on your um, planner pages? I mean, they're they're really fun. They're uh, <laughs> a nice set of pencils. They come in our pens. Excuse me. Come in a nice case. Um, the colors are listed back here on the back. Some of the colors match the um, pencils really nicely, so the sets all kind of work correspondingly together. There's some really, really nice dark colors in this set, but most of them are very bright. So I'm going to open them and show you. The you know, plastic case, um, again, is probably one you would not store these in, especially me, because I have a cat who likes to eat plastic. <laughs> this little yellow guy. So they come in four trays, and they're the same kind of trays that the real brush uh, pens come on. So you use four different ones, and they're put in a nice little order. So they go from yellows to the greens, the blues, purples. There are some other colors here that could have probably been up here, but I mean, you know, it's the way they set them in here. Now, I do suggest on this particular set that you swatch them because the pen color and the name on it don't even match and the color of the ink will sometimes be way different. But this is what the um, pens look like. They're very thin, almost the same size of a colored pencil. And the um, width, they're a little thicker, but this is one of their colored pencils. You can tell here a little bit of difference but they're very light. Uh, the foam core here is filled with ink. You have the bullet tip on this side and the brush tip on this side. The caps come off. The brush tip is a felt. It doesn't come apart like the real brush pens and it has just a little bit of give to it. Water base, so I can do that. <laughs> the uh, pen that has the clip on it is the one that goes over the brush end and the one that doesn't goes over the really tiny little bullet tip. Okay, it is really small so you can get into really tiny delicate areas or if you want to use the brush tip to make fancy lettering use the bullet tip to outline it. Really nice. So I'm going to um, Go ahead and swatch out a few of these for you. To find a page in here that I had marked. Did it? No, wrong book. Okay. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it would take forever. Find the book. Okay. These are the um, watercolor pencils, and I was going to do the Arteza markers here. So we'll get that set up here, and I'll just uh, pull out a couple of these. This one here is called, um, well, Neon Yellow, and you will notice that it is quite bright. I'll do half of it that way, and then to use the bullet tip to show you the difference. I'm not going to do the whole set, it would take me a very long time, but I'll do a couple of them. This one is called Sapphire Yellow. They are very juicy and you'll notice some crinkling going on here. This is Create Space Paper or so I'm told. This one is Lemon Yellow. I'm guessing these will dry a little. 
lighter than they are going down. The lemon yellow in the watercolor pencils is this color. So it's a big difference there. But like I said, they don't really match terribly good, but then I mean, they're close. So when you're going through these, you could pull one out and test it on a piece of paper and see if it's close enough to what you want. And if you're using the brush tip and the bullet tip, this one's cantaloupe orange. At the end of the video, I will show you all the colors down here and I'll write the names up here. But for right now, we're just gonna test out a few of them. And I want you to see if they will bleed through. So and that's the other side. And yes, they do bleed through. This is the wording up here on the top. So on this particular paper, you will have some problems. Okay, I did try it in another book. This is my Million Cats Christmas book. And I've been working on the little cat ornaments here. And I pulled out a green. I'm not exactly sure which color. It was a dark green, emerald green. And I figured that was a nice close color. And you notice here in the ear, there's a little white up there on the top. And this is what I would be using them for, is just to highlight the edges or bring in some color. To my um, pages. And I'm just going to put this on here in a few spots. So you can see what it would look like. Okay, and then if you want a um, tighter, go in with the little tiny tip. And you can bring in some small marks and get into those little spots. It'll add a nice little depth to your piece. And there's a whole bunch of different colors to use, so your colored pencils will match these up really well. Anyway, <laughs> having fun with them, and I, I think they are a great little product. On this particular page, this is what we call shadowing. It's not going to bleed through too much, but in some spots, Oh, those aren't even bleed through. I'm sorry. <laughs> what that is, is ink from the other page. So the um, markers do not come through this. This is just Let me erase that. That's why you always put a piece of paper in between your sheets. So if you notice, there is no bleed through on this page from the marker here, okay? So some pages, I mean, like I said, I've always told you, you wanna check like on a back page in your books to see if it'll go through. This is a thicker paper and this is really thin paper. But if you don't mind, you know, in some of your pages, do you want that one page colored up really nice? I say go for it or make a photocopy of it on paper and use the markers that will bleed through on those. Okay, here is the color chart filled out, and if you'll notice, they have um, a neon color in the yellow, the pink, and the green. So you do have some neon colors, uh, and also in the orange, sorry. So it's the yellow, orange, pink, and green. We have two shades of brown only, uh, one shade of uh, dark gray and one shade of light gray, black. Of course, there's no white because the point of that is kind of mute. 
<laughs> I do have um, two of the pens out. I took the darkest two uh, in blue and green. And I'm going to show you um, what they do with water on them. So I'm going to take the um, green and put it down. And then with my water brush, I'm going to show you that it will move a little bit. This is just a piece of copy paper. So moving it on the paper is not going to be a really great option. There's the green. This is the blue. And this is um, denim blue. The other one was jungle green. So moving them that way is not the best. But if you put it on a um, plastic sheet, this will be the blue. And just picking it up with your water brush and painting it on gives you a nice deep color. So it doesn't really wash it out. So you could put it on your um, coloring books in this manner. If you have a... See, it really works quite well that way. If you have a coloring book that has a really thick paper in it, you can probably put a little line on it and blend it, but I don't think painting with it is the best idea. Now, on their website, they will uh, give you a little explanation on the markers themselves. And they describe it as unique colors, which is true. I don't see neon colors in markers unless you're using highlighters very often. Uh, endless color combinations with blendable water-based ink, only if you use it um, on a palette. Doing it on straight up coloring books is not gonna, uh, it's not gonna work that well. Versatile use, perfect tool for calligraphy, hand lettering, doodling, note taking, and more. And I see that right off the bat. They would be fun for any of that kind of um, lettering, taking notes, working in your journals, in your bullet journals, or your planners would be really great. They're compact and portable. They are. They're lightweight and ready for on-the-go coloring, I guess. <laughs> They're dual-tipped, make fine detail, or uh, flip the marker over and develop thicker lines, which you can do. So you can take them and, I'm not the best at calligraphy, but thin line and then on your downstroke make a thicker line and you can make really thin lines here or thick lines on that point. The ball, or not the ball point, but the bullet tip is just that. <laughs> it's for just fine lines. They are um, child friendly because they're water soluble, so then they're non-toxic, which is wonderful too. So that is about um, all I have on this. So thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, do I recommend them? Yeah, I think they're great. Um, Coloring books, I see them as a secondary tool that you can use in your color book on top of your pencils or to get a uh, better blend. Base coating would be fine. Just double check when you get into your color books to make sure that they um, don't bleed through because they're nice and juicy. The um, bullet tip doesn't bleed as much as the brush tip does, but they do bleed through. A little bit on thicker paper they don't bleed through like i showed you in the cat book it doesn't go through so just double check when you're using them in your color books thanks for watching guys and i hope you have a great day talk to you later bye now